hey, you there. Hey, you there, you there. So I know, I know. It's definitely been a while since I've shown my face here on YouTube as far as like a full video. And it's because YouTube just isn't giving the vibes. But then I realized I love creating content, sharing with you what I'm doing and all of the above. So if you see some of the older videos that were, I have like three or four videos that I recorded a while back that never made the channel. So if you see those posted after this video, don't say nothing, but it's still valuable content. And I still wanna make sure that you see it. We're gonna be talking about some products that I picked up from Sephora and Ulta. I have a credit card at both of these stores because I am a hair and makeup artist and as you can imagine hair makeup hair supplies all that gets expensive and both of these shops have what I need currently um, and so anything I make in my business I can put towards these credit cards that said I have two full bags of goodies that I want to share with you and let me just start first start by saying that you just gotta be you enjoy posting and see what the outcome is that said start with Ulta I got a few different things from Ulta I got I always need a stack up on lashes for my clients because all my clients like something different but it's helpful when I have packs and I think what I'm going to do with these going for it, usually I leave them in a pack like this and then like apply them to the client as I need it. But I recently seen somebody cutting these up and like stacking them in an organized way in like some type of container. And I think that will be more sustainable for me. So I'm adding these. Um, we have the naked lashes, which are definitely more like hair like. And then of course we have the foaming. And we have the Ardell with. I'm beginning to learn that I do not like lashes with the super thick band. Like I want my lashes to have this clear gel piece only. And then I just feel like they fit on the eye more perfectly and they are just chef kiss. Along those same lines, I picked up, I was using an old BH Cosmetics eyebrow palette that i would just like it's just not giving anymore and i was often using the same colors anyway so i decided to pick up three of the anastasia beverly hills brow will riz pencils um so we have ebony we have taupe and we have medium brown and these are like the colors that i use the most you know either i'm working on really fair skin and they often call for a very light blondish brow or i'm working on medium skin um which is where the medium comes in or i'm working on darker skin where the ebony will come into play i'm not going to get rid of, rid of the bh cosmetics palette but i definitely wanted to use the pencils which i think will give my clients the brows that i appreciate next um i got okay liquid pencils so these are from lancome and i a while ago i recently purchased uh, the lancome foundation and so i've just kind of been on like a lancome kick but what i'm realizing and in my artistry instead of putting like a base i like to use a crayon of some sort that kind of smokes out the eye or acts as a base before applying other eyeshadow on top so i got four of those drama liquid pencils from lancome and we have parisian night which is kind of like a purple color i'm not going to take these out because i need to organize my kit and like i said my makeup table is already a hot mess but um i'll put them on the screen here so you can see like the shade we have french chocolate um sprinkles which is like glitter and then leading lights which is also has a little glitter in the first one i said the Parisian night is a metallic and the french chocolate is more of a matte so i imagine when i especially when i do brides i like to do a brown liner rather than a black and kind of smoke it out give it that chef kiss um and you know i do have black pencils as well in the maker forever last thing i got from ulta which is for me not my clients um i i love ulta skincare I mean, I love e.l.f. skincare, and so I wanted to try this little kit that they have with the product. So they have the cleanser, 
the toner i believe and the moisturizer and it's back to the it's back to basics and y'all know how i love my bath it's back to basics and it also has oat milk we'll see how this is i'm also supposed to be trying rodent and fields for a friend y'all know me if you've been seeing my channel i'll put the playlist here my skin i just like simple skincare products nothing fancy nothing over the top all right i'm gonna try to keep this under 10 minutes so let's quickly go through the sephora bag which i'm really excited about i got a birthday gift because it was my birthday um in january and i've been trying to you try this amika brand for a while so i was like let me try this it has the nourishing mask which i'm excited to dry shampoo i don't really use dry shampoo but i can use that on my clients and then um flash into instant skin or shine mask and we'll see what that's about as well but excited to try this brand i got this lineage sleep mask so you know this is one that i've been wanting to try currently don't don't laugh don't laugh but vaseline i've been putting vaseline on my client's lips and some people will be like oh what is this you put on my lips and i'm like just some vaseline but i'm excited to upgrade and try the leap the um lineage sleeping mask which i'm sure you've seen a lot and and they had this combo which was more affordable than them individually i also so i've used huda beauty before as my foundation and i raved and love and i have it right here actually use almost all of all of it i love the way it sat on my skin i just love what it did to my skin so i was like let me try their concealers and upgrade from the tarte shape tape concealer which i like but i use a lot of denescent myrex foundations and so i'm just trying to match the energy although i can use the danessa foundation for concealer as well i'm just going to be trying these so these are the overachiever concealer and i just put it on myself in the store just to see how it feels and i liked it so i did get a lot or i got five and then one for me of course um and the one i got for myself is a toasted almond and i'm going to be trying that as well on myself and i think i will officially like try it on myself before i use all of these and if i don't like these i will be returning so trying the one on myself seeing the formula see how it acts out but as you know if you work with multiple skin tones as i often do then you need a wide range of shades in almost everything you use um but specifically concealers and foundations so that's why you see a almost a large shade here what i like to do is get four or five let's say foundations or concealers and then it mix oftentimes if i need to um which works perfectly so like let's say someone is in between here that's more of like a cooler tone rather than a toasted almond then you know i can mix those together a few other products i needed to include more in like my skin care routine for my clients in the beginning now i should start by saying at this point i'm kind of hoarding let's be real because i do have some good quality products in my kit now but i wanted something that was going to exfoliate the face and so i had seen someone using these facial radiant pads and i was like this is exactly what i need because if i think about my own skincare routine i take the pads i have at home and i'm like exfoliating my face before i do my makeup and it is just chef kiss so i imagine that i would want to do the same for my clients this one is for me it's an ingrown hair pads um that i can use on my bikini line specifically and i just wanted to try those out because i saw them and it was like intriguing <laughs> um milk i actually haven't tried milk products before but people rave about the primer as well as the setting spray 
so i will be trying both of these as well on my clients to see what i like if i like what i currently use or if these are going to be better i also am going to try one of these oh, i think check i think i actually got two of these um nars foundations in the soft matte soft matte so i got a medium d and a light these two i'm gonna try and see if i like them i have a wedding coming up and i'm gonna try one of the foundations on some of the bridesmaids and see how i like it if i don't like it i'm returning it because like i said i do use danessa myricks which is working for me currently um i also have this serum that i'm adding to my kit for my clients it's the oh hurricane shit i don't even let me not even try to butcher this name but y'all know the one i'm talking about in the orange container last i got this um clinique for the under the eyes i this i bought this a while ago and i'm looking back and i'm like wow I bought a ton of stuff from Sephora to add to my kit and I'm like <laughs> I will be returning it if it does not work but the last thing I got is for the Clinique so underneath the eyes that will help with puffiness specifically on my brides depending on the package that they choose they'll get like these under eye pads which help for puffiness but I wanted this extra layer to really decrease the puffiness and prevent any crease underneath the eyes which you know can definitely happen i'm like out of breath and i am just so excited to be sitting down and filming this with you again of course i'm going to be doing more in-depth reels and videos with these products on my instagram for my beauty page which is Rock Natural Beauty, which I'll put here. And if you're not following, go ahead and check it out because I'll be posting my client selfies and more in depth about these products and then showing you everything that's in my kit if you have. The last time I did a kit video on here, it's a little outdated. I should say a lot of outdated because I've upgraded products. So that said, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because I just want you to come along with me on this journey. Be sure to stay tuned to check out these next two videos and I'll see you in my next one. Toodles.